What's up, bro? Sons and Ryan Dixon is back with another video, and today we are going to be reacting to Nickelodeon All Star Brawl and gameplay breakdown. Now, if you guys don't know what Nickelodeon All Star Brawl is, it's basically a uh, Nickelodeon version of Smash Bros. However, it's going to be a little bit different because, you know, it's made by an independent company and all that. And honestly, not going to lie, I'm really excited for the game. I'm not going to lie because, you know, I've always been, you know, a Nickelodeon in slash cartoon network fans so i feel like this could actually be like a good game not a lot like if it just has enough support from the, from like you know fan base and nickelodeon themselves considering sometimes whenever nickelodeon does a like crossover game they don't you know make enough support for it i feel like if they actually do that then either two things either one it'll be good enough that they can actually make dlc for the game which you know would be good considering you can add characters that people actually want it to be in, in the game, but, you know, you add them later. Or it might go down the Nickelodeon Racing um, track and actually just make another sequel where they add stuff and characters that should have been in the first but weren't. Which, you know, I'm not even gonna lie, I wouldn't be mad. So, um... So, on the breakdown, is basically gonna explain, like, how the game is, um, how, how the controls are, and basically everything um i did see some gameplay like characters for like spongebob sandy and then some other characters for teenage mutant ninja turtles but i didn't see the breakdown so now we are gonna react to it and see how this is and see if this is good or not if it's bad then it's bad if it's good then it's good so yeah so, so if you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe with the bell and always get notified when i upload a new video or comment what do you guys want to react to next so anyways, so let's get to the video in three, two, one. We are back running in cheese. Hey everybody, my name is Thaddeus Cruz, character designer and programmer on Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. And today, we're gonna be showing off some of the mechanics. This game is a platform fighter, meaning that the objective is to read out your opponent. Ringing out an opponent has everything to do with their percentage. Okay, so it is like Smash, all right. Because so, so, some, some um, fighting platformers are either percentages or like, you know, get get your special and then kill them. But I'm guessing it's like Smash Bros, all right. You'll need to start out with light attacks. Light attacks are the options you use to build percentage. Mm. And like you'll see with most attacks, they come in pairs of three. Light up, light down, and all right. Dip. All right, so we got you've built up enough percent. We got the basic ones. All right. Strong attacks. These two come in up, Party charm, down, imagination, and then um the butterfly net. All right. Will be fairly similar across some the some of the moves for the SpongeBob really characters will come in. Specials. Will be like re references from memes from flavors. previous episodes, yeah. like. Like this one, like the chomp, it's from, I'm from Stupid, the season 2 episode where, you know, he has the, um, Spongebob helps Patrick's, um, parents. That's not what I meant, but you know what I mean. But, not gonna lie, I actually might like this, I'm, I might. The direction you choose determines the interaction with other strongs. Down beats mid and causes a stagger. Oh. Mid beats up and causes a turnaround. Wait. Up beats down and causes a spin out. The primary exception to the directional system is in the form of dash attacks. Once you build enough speed on the ground, you will see a dashing effect. This indicates that you can perform a dash light or a dash strong. Of note, on hit, these attacks can be cancelled into anything. 
Bet, okay, hold up. Good thing I'm reacting to this because I actually know I'm actually learning how to actually play the game. But alright. Something, you're able to move around freely, and if you're on the ground, get a jump out. What's more, you can actually grab in the air. Oh, in the oh. Oh no! Oh no! There's gonna be a lot of grabbers. There's gonna be a lot of grabbers. I can I can already predict that. I can already predict that. Like grabbing someone through the air and then just carrying them. I'm betting there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of grabbers who's gonna try that um Donkey Kong move where basically he'll grab you and then um once he's moving he'll just try to throw you off and then just tries to go back. I feel like a lot of people's gonna try to do that. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Hoping it's not. You know, it, it, it's not that bad. If it is, then they have to buff that, because, Jesus. Oh, wait, I said buff. I mean nuke. I nu nuke that. Just, oh, no. Oh, no, bro. Guarding in this game is indefinite. There is no penalty for holding it down. Instead, the penalties come in the form of being pushed back. If you reach a ledge, you enter teeter. If you're hit again in the space, you can be punished. A guard can become more effective by either timing it to the hit or by holding in the direction of the attack. Doing both initiates a perfect guard where you can react immediately. But you okay, perfect guard, timing, all right. Especially if somebody's coming at you with projectiles. Instead, just hit him right back. Oh, we get him right back. Okay, that is the thing in Smash, but right. in that the more they're redirected, the more powerful they become. Interesting. And that's not all. Those grabs from before. Oh, you can grab them too. Players. Interest. All right. All right. Hold up. Have the freedom to turn. Mm, Both on the ground. And. and uh, oh, okay. This turning system the don't really know what they're doing. They, they really know what they're doing. This might be a fun game for multiplayer. You will put your character into a if there's no story or game modes. Turning mm. at all, both on the ground and in the air. The benefits of not strafing include being able to do all of your aerials in multiple directions. On the flip side, a benefit of strafing is that you're able to do full retreating attacks without compromising movement whatsoever. On the topic of movement, there is also air dashes. Air dashes grant no invincibility, but are fully actionable after the fact. You only get one per air time. However, the downwards air dashes are a lot more unique. They are significantly faster. And are actionable into any attack. I mean, By utilizing that them, might the help because then again, the, the way it's doing it, it looks like the one from... It looks like Incineroar is where he goes up and it just tries to smash you down. So I feel like, you know, Spongebob's less, ups but is, is not that good. Playing as... You can't have a platform. Of course they have to make that meme. Of course they have to make that meme. Oh, I knew it. Uh, oh. Fighter without taunts. Yeah, memes. Of, co of course they have to make that meme. Of course. So anyway, guys, that was the video. Should the video. Alright, so thoughts. This game, even though there is some stuff that is concerning me, like grabbing, because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of grab. A lot of people's gonna try like to spam the grabbing and try to do that DK pl play where they try to grab you and they just try to throw you off. Um, so I feel like they might need to at least to tone that down a little bit, or just change of how you can actually use the grab. Because I feel like a lot of people's gonna do that and it's just gonna cause a lot of rage. Um. 
um everything else okay i, I get it it's, it's gonna be like a classic platformer uh, i feel like this is going to be like um super smash bros but for um nintendo 64 where there weren't really like you know side move side special moves there's just you know attacks but all right i'm you know, even though I never played um, Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 64, I still might enjoy this considering I always love trying out a new fighting platformer and seeing if I love it. Because, you know, I always love fighting platformers, even though most of them aren't that good. But, you know, still some of them are good and some of them are bad. Like, Walla Hala, that's really bad in my opinion. But still, so I'm, I feel like I'm going to enjoy the game. I'm hoping it really does get support so we could get at least, you know some DLC and stuff and all of that or you know a sequel and then you know DLC for the sequel so yeah same as that was the video guys enjoyed the video please subscribe with the bell on those get notified when I upload a new video comment what do you guys want me to react to next most of my watches by people who are subscribed so if you like the video please subscribe and yeah don't worry guys we'll get a new intro because, you know, I was thinking of changing the intro, but I was like, you know, since I'm going to change it either way before October, I was like, yeah, I might as well just keep using the summer one until um, September ends. So, yeah. Same as that was the video. I'll see you, Brussels, later. Bye. A peace. Shit, it got us all blind. My side is so far away and behind. Slow it down and I promise I'll get mine. Get in a grip on time, eye for an eye. Need that Agamotto vision. I'm like Thanos on a mission. Snapping to get the riches. I see my dreams in the distance in the world. In the palm of my mitten. The soul got him smitten and I'm chilling with Great Britain.